yesterday an ant colony, which I think was the yellow meadow ant or Lassius flavus, was having their nuptial flight. A nuptial flight is basically where virgin queens fly up with males to mate in the sky so that they can start new colonies. They all emerge at once, making the ground itself look like it's moving. One thing interesting I've noticed is that the males and females seem to fly out separately from different holes. I'm not sure if this is a coincidence or this is how it normally happens. I'm not an expert so I don't really know. Here is basically what the males look like and here is what the females look like. The females are much bigger than the males and have a normal ant-like shape. The males are much smaller, thinner and in my opinion they have a wasp-like body shape. The ants climb to the highest point they can find, which in this case will be the tip of the blades of grass, and take off to find other males and queens from different colonies. While filming I stood on an ant nest and got bitten a few times. Sorry ants. Here if you look closely enough you can see some of the ants flying away. Some of the ants also landed on my hand before taking off again. This one is a future queen. This one is a male. After the nuptial flight, all the males will die off, usually within a day or two, if not less than a week. Many of the queen ants will also die out because of overheating, dehydration, predators, etc. I also saw a queen ant being dragged off by some Lassius niger or black garden ant workers. Once a queen ant has successfully mated, she'll tear off her wings as she'll no longer need them. She'll then find the right spot and make her first chamber. When she is ready, she will then close up the chamber and start laying her eggs. If she is successful, she will continue laying eggs, and her colony may have up to 20,000 workers. We have now reached the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.